Azo, who the winner of this will be playing K9. So that should be a fun match. And what is this? This is a this is an interesting surprise. I'm not expecting uh, Taternator to go Peach. It's a crazy turn of events. Usually, you know, Taternator, uh, Junior main from, from Smash 4, wasn't really using it in the beginning of Ultimate, but then he discovered that Junior is still viable, so he continued to play Junior. Um, but yeah, wow, this is crazy. I've never seen him play Peach before, so my mind is a little blown right now. Okay, a couple of fairs, both players swinging their crowns. Oh, both whipping right at that ledge. Very unfortunate. Alright, that's attack getting shielded and getting punished by Nair. Guys are really showing off the pro cancels. Ah, okay. Ledge. Oh, a ditto! Okay. Oh, yes, Taternator. Yes, Taternator is picking up Peach now. He was telling me about uh, how broken he believes this character is. He thinks it's the best in the game, so... If Good. you want to win, you should definitely play the best. That was his logic, too. Oh, and right now... I, I feel like uh, Taternator is just kind of going off on a whim. He's like, how good are you in this ditto here? I mean, I would expect Raza to be very good at the ditto. Mm -hmm. You know, some people just aren't good at fighting against their own mains. It uh, sounds like an anomaly, but really it's, uh, it's a real thing. Okay, well, recovering. And able to recover low, avoid all the turnups, <laughs> trading turnups. Very nice. Only in this matchup. It's not technically a dead oak, it's a daisy. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, whipping the forward air. Just kind of floating around. Yeah, they're both looking for their kill option. Taternator finding the first fair, and I'm hit popped off a little. I mean, it was literally like the first stock of the set. <laughs> he must hate Peach. I think he just wants Raza to win. Raza, or no, he wants Tater to win, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Interesting, because Raza is from the same region as I'm in. But, you know, evening up the stocks, going back to 0%. Zero, zero and I like how, how safe a lot of these aerials are. I was playing a lot of the, this matchup with Taternator before the tournament started. And he was basically just throwing out fairs like, I'm going to get you with this fair. I'm going to get you with this fair. And he just threw it out with just no fear whatsoever. And safe on shield when it's space. And it has a lot of kill power, so it also has a fear factor. Big time, big time. And I'm not sure if that crown is a disjoint. I asked that a long time ago, but I just never got that question answered. It was in Smash 4. Um, I, it looks like it is in Ultimate. Yeah, I, I don't doubt it. And seriously, it has crazy vertical range. Like, um, if, if you look at that forward air, it reaches very high up. Uh, yeah, I think last week we saw I'm Hip actually lose the set because he was above uh, Razo in the startup affair, connected, like, almost behind him. Isn't that awful? Ooh, okay. okay. No, it's, it's cool. No, no, no. I'm, I'm all about it. I have no problems with Peach or any of the characters whatsoever except Sonic, but that's just me. Okay, good forward air. Taylor Nader just doing a good job of outspacing Razo at this point. Razo uh, really just needs to adjust a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, throwing up the turnips. Now the only real thing that I need to see here from uh, Tater Nader is just a bit more effectiveness at the right. He's not really catching Razo because he's throwing him off of uh, out of neutral quite often but he's not really capitalizing so much on it. I mean, the, the couple stocks that he has taken have been at the ledge. Mm, true it that. was with punishing the, the ledge getup, to be fair. Okay, good stuff to Razo. Well, 145% is going to give Taternator a lot of kill options. Yeah, like that one? <laughs> like that one. <laughs> yeah, like I said, Taternator just throws out that fair. It just throws out that fair. This is Holy. Oh, okay. I'm hit popping off. I guess he's all about the you know, the princess dittos. I'm calling out for more fares. Dude, I love when I'm hip is, is here. He's just like popping off. Oh yeah, he's an animal. He's got a you know his nickname I'm hype. <laughs> doesn't I'm always hype. come out. Doesn't always come out, but when it does, you know, I don't know. Has a good time. I, I see I'm hype every week that I see him uh, here. So. It, you haven't really seen I'm Hype until he's like top eight at, at a major. And then he pops off for like every single game. I need to see that. It's it's a show. I need to see that. Much. that. 
All right, so we're going right into game two. Brazo probably not too happy about the uh, last. Uh, ooh, okay. Dot. Just get, oh my god, 23? Off a dot. Look at that. <gasps> Breaking. <a> break. <laughs> what are you going to do? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so you can actually change the. You can change the object that you use in your forward smash during the charge? Man, okay. There you go. I thought you had to initiate with it. And you know, Razo just does not care that much about that shield break. He's able to get a little bit of damage back. In fact, he's in the lead right now. That's right. Maintain that lead. The, the Beach Bomber does a good amount of shield damage. The Daisy Bomber. I feel like for the sake of... Actually, no, there is no alliteration of Beach Bomber either. Oh, well. Booty Bump. Down throw, not gonna be able to follow over the back air. Okay, spacing out the forward air, nice, but the parry, okay. Making sure the Tatanator doesn't get too big of an advantage. Yeah, it looks like he wanted to drag down with up air, just not able to find his connecting his links after these uh, these grabs. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Ooh, that was really nice. Peace Farmer into the shield and catching the item. Oh, it's okay. Oh, that Nair is so strong. It's such a great cross up tool. I like throwing the turn up down in case Tater Nader uh, commits to the Peach Bomber. Oh my goodness. Oh, we have a snoozy face. 12 damage from snoozy face. I'm still learning, like, how strong each individual face is. Yeah, the dot face and the stick face are obviously the strongest ones. Minus the bomb. Yeah. Wow. Which you don't, like, I just found out if you, like, the bomb can be hit in Peach's face. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I, I learned think she can also just like throw it on the ground and it doesn't hit her. Really? Yeah, so she can just explode herself. Oh, so you, you feel extra safe when you have that in your hands. Very interesting, good to know. Okay, we got another snoozy face. Right now, Razo's looking pretty comfy. Hey, almost hitting with that radish, too. And can you see the amount of counter pressure from Razo? Using the Z drop in forward air. Mm -hmm. No cancel back here is such a quick retaliation for Razo. It's it's so nice too, because it just kills you. It doesn't really matter where you are on the stage, it's probably gonna wreck you at some point. Yeah, it's like the move that can do it all. You know, it's good good linking tool, good combo move, and then out of shield option, high percent kill. Okay. Tatanator. Yeah, it seems Razo's kinda gotten wise to how Tatanator likes a forward jump. Uh, use fair and then just drift back after. Basically, yeah, he's starting to catch the timing on it. And that basically means that Tatanator needs to adjust, and right now he's getting caught for doing the same thing like you just said. Oh, man. Okay, that, was, that was actually a pretty good backer to do that turn Yeah, it seems his game plan is switched up from forward airs to back airs. Exactly, yeah, he did lots that to me too. And lots of back airs. Oh, yeah. But, uh,. I think you can take a lot of notes from Raza just the way that he's approaching. Okay, forward air connecting that time. <laughs> well, right back. Yo. Getting a taste of his own turn up. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, high in vitamin A, I'm pretty sure. Is he going to be able to make it back? He is. The Nader not uh, in the correct position to get the edge guard. Now, I thought we were going to see a gravitator air at the ledge there, and Peach has a six-frame grab. If you didn't hate her already, that's a good reason to. Six-frame grab? It's pretty fast. Okay, good in air. Thought we were going to see an up tilt instead, but hey, that works. Catching Razo in the air right now. Oh, Razo caught him with that dash attack, killing him. All right. All right, bringing score 1-1. One, one. Razo, of course, taking his, his uh, game on his counter pick. Final destination. Mm. Now Tater Nader has a counter pick. And he also has the option to to stick with uh, with Peach, or he can even counter pick characters as well. Mm, yeah, that's true. I, you know, it's funny because uh, Tater Nader told me that I'm probably not going to bring her out in bracket. Well, he's, here he is on the stream doing it against Razo. It's pretty uh pretty cool. But yeah, it, it's it's likely that it'll go uh, Bowser Jr. or uh, <coughs> Wendy. I don't know. I mean, when the chips are down, Taternator is usually the one that like likes to stick to whatever he's trying to work on. Mm. So he understands that this is like this is just a local. Not too much on the line. Yeah. So 
Yeah, he's gonna stick it out with Peach. I totally agree, too. It's like when you put yourself in these pressure situations, no matter how low or high, it's a good way to learn. It's a good way to adapt. And I think this is really good for uh, for Tatenator, just learning how to play this character. I think Rod is a, a very good you know person to emulate. Okay. Yeah, just gotta respect the way that Razo is able to just he approaches and he knows exactly when it's time to, to go away. Like he doesn't overextend. And Saturn by Rip Saturn. Right, I was hoping Saturn would stay on the stage a little bit longer. Razo has an amazing combo game with items. <laughs> and I've, I've seen him do crazy things. Like if we're talking Twitter combos in game. In game on in bracket. Okay, very nice. I don't the, the boogly eyes. I don't know what to call that one. Boogly eyes. I mean, they don't all know game. I feel like... No, they're not all special. I feel like they would appreciate it. The turnips... Except for that one. We don't lives, care about that turn one. Turnip lives don't matter. Oh, yeah, they don't. They definitely don't. Look at that. These, these two players have no remorse for their turnips. <laughs> we'll just continue to chuck them off stage in the hopes to make their opponent either air dodge or maybe in connection. Mm -hmm. Good connection with Razo. Okay, just floating over. I respect it. And uh, Tanonator not really doing a whole lot with his position on the stage right now. And Razo just goes right back to what he needs to do. Yeah. Yeah, Razo not afraid to edge guard either. He goes off stage and connects a forward air at a fairly early percent. Oh my god, it's going right through the turnip. Okay. And you know, Razo's been very consistent with catching that too. He's using down air, so I'm assuming that down air has the most startup and is just based on where his positioning is. It seems like the most convenient move to use. Uh, and I also don't really see a whole lot of down air approaching from uh, Tatermator himself. Okay, good booty bump. That's right. Even stalled out for Toad. Uh, yeah, he's not going to be able to make that back. But he does still have three stock. He was at a really high percent, so it's not too much of a loss. But, you know, he just gave up the three stock. Yeah. He could be getting three stock chance right now. Oh, man, on stream. Shame on you. Very nice. Wow, he's really getting a lot of those sleepy faces. Oh, Rosso's RNG is ridiculous. I'm pretty sure he just like increases the percentages like tenfold. A man Get like those. that, a man like that needs to play uh, Luigi. Okay, up smash. Wow, just fearlessly throwing out up smash. Okay. Yeah, that actually put Tater in a disadvantage position because ooh, he got two Saturns. Saturn into down smash, <laughs> taking the set. But just that, that small conversion of like the, the Z dropping the turn up, the forward air, and the booty bump put Taternator's shield at like a uh, marble size. It was tiny. So he 